This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Pixels Logo. And using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 24 frames per second, and my duration is 10 seconds longer. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it the Pixels. Choose any color you want and then hit OK. Now go to the effects in the presets and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the noise type to blocks, and then change the contrast value to 200. Now change the complexity value to 4. And it will look like this. Let's add some animation to it. We will use the evolution for animating the noise. Let's do it. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then add a keyframe on evolution. Then go to around 5 seconds position, and change the first evolution value to 2. And this is how the animation looks now. Cool. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the mosaic effect. Apply it right below the fractal noise, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the value of the horizontal block to 150. And then change the value of the vertical block to 120. We are trying to make the noise look square. So let's change the value of the vertical block to around 90. Cool. Looks better. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the find edges. Apply it onto the layer, and then click on the invert. Also, change the blend with original value to 30%. You can always play with the settings, if you are looking for a different look. Cool. Let's open transform, and change the scale value to 50%. It will make the noise tinier. I am also adding the rotation value of 45 degrees, to get some angle on noise. Let's add fade in and fade out on this noise. Make sure you are at the first frame, and then change the brightness value to around negative 170. It will make the noise dark. Now, add keyframe on the brightness, then go to around 5 seconds position. And press U, to open keyframes. Now, add keyframe at 5 seconds, by clicking on this icon. Then go to around 2.5 second position, and change the brightness value to a higher number. It could be 4 or 5. And this is the animation, where particles come in, and then go out. Cool. Now right click on this layer, and choose pre-compose. Let's call it Pixels, and then choose to move all attributes into the new composition. Let's move to the next step. Import your logo into the project, and then place it onto the timeline. If required, you can scale the size of it. I am keeping the size of 50%. Now pre-compose your logo layer. If you have any questions about pre-composing, you can check out my video by clicking here. Now select the pixel layer, and then again go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the set mat. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. But first, hide the logo layer for now. Now select the noise layer, change the take mat from layer to logo, and then change the use for mat to luminance. It will show up the logo in the noise we just created. 
cool. Let's add some colors to it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC toner. Apply it onto the layer, and let's change the color of it. For the highlights, I am using a light blue color. And for the mid-tones, I am using a bright blue color. And the shadow will remain the same. Of course, you should add your own colors. Cool. Let's select the pixels layer, and make a duplicate of it. Zoom into your timeline, by pressing the equal key. And then place the second layer on the 8th frame. Make one more duplicate, and place it onto the 16th frame. I am adding 8 frames distance in all layers. It will make the animation a little longer, as well as the dynamic. Now select all layers, and change their blend mode to the screen. If this mode tab is not available here, then press F4 to switch between. In case your F4 key is showing symptoms of the coronavirus, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as the switches. Because we are going to need them. Cool. Now select the logo layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it logo reveal. And then turn it on by clicking here. Before moving further, we need to create some texture for the logo. So, let's create a new solid layer. I am calling it the logo reveal map. And then hit OK. Now again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the noise type to block, and contrast value to 300. Also, change the complexity value to 4. Now open transform, and change the scale value to 50. I am also adding a rotation value of 45 degrees. Cool. Now pre-compose this layer as well. I am calling it logo reveal map, and then hit OK. Let's hide the logo reveal map, because we don't need to see it. Let's add a small animation to it. Open this reveal map composition, and make sure you are the first frame. Now add a keyframe on brightness, and change the brightness value to around negative 300. Then go to around 5 second position, and change the brightness value to 300. We are making it black to white. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Now, press U to open keyframes, select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Cool. Switch back to the main timeline, and select the logo reveal layer. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the set mat. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the take mat from layer to logo reveal map, as well as change the use for mat to luminance. And this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's adjust the starting point of logo reveal. Select both layers, and place them onto the 3 seconds position. I think the logo reveal is taking much longer than I expected. So let's place it onto the one and half seconds position. And now it is looking much better. Cool. Let's make some lighting effect. Create a new solid layer, and call it light. I am using this bright blue color, you are free to choose any color you want. Then go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Zoom out a little, and create a mask here. Now select the light layer once again, and then press F, to open feather. Here change the feather value to around 500. Let's make it 1000, so that it can spread nicely. Let's make a duplicate of it. Then select the move tool, and double click on any anchor point, to get the transform option. Now place it right here. Then go to the layer, and choose solid settings. Here you can change the color of this solid layer. Let's use this color for now. Of course, you are free to use any color you want. 
fit 100%, and this is what we have now. Let's select both light layers, and place them below all layers. Now we are going to create the reflection. So select the top layers, and pre-compose them. I am calling it logo, and then hit OK. Now make a duplicate of this layer, select the bottom layer, and rename it as logo reflection. We will use it as a reflection. Let's make a reflection map for it. Create a new solid layer, and call it the floor. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the contrast value to 300. Now pre-compose it as well. Make sure to select move all attributes into the new composition, and then call it the floor. You can hide it, because we don't need to see it. Now select the logo reference layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the compound blur, apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the blur layer to floor. And then change the maximum blur value to 50. Now go to the timeline, and then press F4 to get the switch tab. Click on the 3D icon, to make it 3D. Then open rotation, and change the X rotation value to negative 76 degrees. Place it right here, and I think I will keep the rotation value to negative 83. Cool. Also, change the maximum blur value to 100. And this is how it will look now. Cool. Now make a duplicate of this logo reflection layer, and I am calling it logo reflection long. Let's delete the compound blur from it. Then again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the directional blur. Apply it onto the layers, and then change the blur length value to 600. As well as, change the direction value to 90 degrees. Let's keep the blur length value to 700, to make the blur a little longer. Again go to the effects and the presets, and apply another directional blur on it. This time I am changing the blur length value to 500, and it looks better. Check the animation if you like it. If required, you can always play with the settings to get the desired look. Let's select all the logo layers, and change their modes to the screen. It will blend with each other very nicely. Cool. Now we are going to add some particles. Import the particle layer into the project. By the way, you can download it from the link in the description. First, I need to increase the scale size of it, so that it can fit with our frame size. Now change the blend mode to screen, so that it can merge with our frame. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the tint. Apply it onto the particle layer, and then change the map white color to a blue color or any color to match with your design. For this tutorial, I am using this blue color. In a few spots, I can see the small particles, which I don't want to see. So let's add a curve on this particle layer. Then adjust the curve to make it a little cleaner. Also, I am adding an S-curve, to get some contrast. Cool. This looks good to me. Now I am going to add some glow on it. So create a new adjustment layer, and place it on top of all layers. I am calling it glow. Then again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and first, change the glow dimensions to vertical. Now, change the glow radius value to 200. As well as, change the glow threshold value to 80%. In case you think the glow is too much, then you can decrease the glow intensity value to a lower number. And now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Good luck, and peace. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements.
Get unlimited download after effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, and web templates. Visit the Invato Elements. Check the first link in the description.